defensive lineman. Uh, Jerry brought up Charles Haley. I know you had a chance to play alongside him and then play against him. What do you think it would take for a lineman like a Charles Haley, a Richard Dent, a Chris Dolman, some of these real game setters on defense, to crack through and be that next great defensive lineman voted to the Pro Football Hall of Fame? Well, first of all, I want to say thanks to Mr. Mackey for what he did with Floyd Little. I think it proves the case of you need to kind of find the statistics and, and maybe craft them. Uh, it was funny, Peter King turned to me when Floyd went in and said, you know, he was the, he led the league three times in rushing and is the only person who ever did that from a losing team. So it was like, that's what resonated with the voters finally, was someone carving it up and actually showing, my gosh, despite him never being on a winning team, which usually is the death knell for, for a Hall of Famer, Here's a guy leading the league with no help. That's a Hall of Famer. So we've kind of redefined that thanks to fans. So I think that fans are going to have a way of looking at this that uh, I think is really important and, uh, and useful. And I really appreciated that story in sports. So that was really heartwarming. Roger and I were just talking about a heartwarming story about how that, uh, how that unfolded. For Charles Haley, uh, and Harry, I know you have a lot of opinions too about how you get into the Hall of Fame and how great players because so much of it is quarterback <laughs> driven and so much receiver, you know, the guys that are out there scoring touchdowns, it's easy for the Hall of Fame to just be loaded with guys like that. When you lose track, and I, that's why I say the fans, I think, getting involved helps them remind the, the voters, you know, hey, wait a second, what about, and then you think about it, Charles Haley, who, in my mind, tilted the, the, the fate of the Super Bowl. When he was with us, we won Super Bowls. When he left, we lost Super Bowls to the team he went to. It was just that dramatic and that, that important. You can make all other kinds of claims about Charles Haley, but that's the truth. And I felt it, you know. And he was the difference maker for the Cowboys at, at that early stage when the 92, when they were just a young team. I remember playing the championship game and thinking, geez, if Charles Haley wasn't chasing me down all day, we might get something done here. What in the world were we doing? Because he was just with us 12 months before. So I think that when you slice it that way, you, you present it to the voters as Charles Haley tilted the scales of three future pro, uh, Super Bowls. Well, that's a Hall of Famer, right? So that's just another way to, to crack, the, crack the case. With the NFL opening up the, opening up